And uh, we have been talking about the uh, division of uh, controls, safeguards, countermeasures, and uh, in particular for access control into the uh, standard um, business division of administrative, technical, and physical. And going through uh, various examples, particularly in regard to access control, uh, to illustrate that division. Um, but there is the, the other division, the uh, area that is more related to um, uh, business, uh, sorry, uh, to government, to military, uh, and uh, that uh, set of division into controls. Um, and as I say, once you, you know, have a good idea of, of both of them, um, you uh, have the possibility of uh, forming a, a matrix. The, the two sets of controls don't sort of fit into each other. They are orthogonal. And so we can create a grid, a matrix, um, and use that uh, to analyze the, the types of controls that we have in a given system and identify areas of uh, weakness, areas uh, where we have controls missing. Um, and, uh, well, either uh, confirm that, yes, we do not need controls in these areas or uh, possibly look and, and say, you know, why don't we have area, uh, controls in these areas um, and what can we put in, in that place? Uh, at any rate, to, uh, to the list, um, the uh, compensating controls. Um, these are uh, these are going to be controls that uh, compensate for weaknesses. And, and as previously mentioned, uh, you know, we have the concept of defense in depth and layered defense and the fact that no control, no uh, security tool is perfect. Um, they all have weaknesses. Um, and therefore, what do we have as a as a backstop to to compensate? Um, and and very similarly, um, we have corrective controls. Again, identifying the fact that uh, no uh, no tool is is perfect. No tool is 100%. No security is 100%. And so, what do we do for? Uh, weaknesses for areas and in in the case of compen or sorry well in, in compensating controls uh, it's you know possibly just an extra layer but in in terms of corrective controls generally speaking a different type of control that will actually fix um, that will uh, uh, identify um, uh, where uh, a, uh, a breach has taken place or, or a weakness is and automatically correct for uh, the weakness there or the, the breach or vulnerability. Um, uh, that is uh, going to rely on our next type of control, which is detective. Um, uh, very often uh, we are wanting to detect and as uh, previously mentioned in, in regard to Schwarthaus time-based security, uh, the idea being that um, nothing is perfect. So uh, the uh, what you should be doing is ensuring that you have uh, sufficient security in place to delay the uh, attack or the adversary long enough for you to detect an attack and, and hopefully respond appropriately. Uh, but in, in this particular case, uh, detective controls are, are just identifying the, the occurrence of an attack and usually the uh, uh, compensating or corrective control um, will uh, have another uh, component. 
Now there's um, deterrent uh, controls. And there is an interesting um, uh, oh, uh, disagreement, I suppose, a, a mistake um, in terms of uh, the way people see deterrent controls. We tend to think of deterrent controls um, as uh, psychological, as uh, you know, something that will scare somebody away. That is not uh, always the case. A deterrent control is um, more broadly anything that will make it more difficult for an adversary or an attacker to to mount an attack on us. Uh, so, um, yes, uh, psychologically we want to discourage violations, uh, but uh, more broadly speaking, we are trying to make it more difficult um, for the the attacker. Um, and we have uh, directive controls. Um, and now, directive and administrative controls. That those two classifications are are going to be very very similar. Both of them are going to be involved with uh, policy. Uh, we are uh, primarily concerned with um, uh, how. Uh, uh, people see um, their their jobs, um, what the expectations are, uh, understand uh, the the reasons for policies, procedures, and uh, actions we have them take to uh, reduce the risk. Um, so that is that is going to be uh, a. Uh, you know, a very similar uh, type of, of classification. Um, not necessarily identical, but uh, yeah, very, very similar. And we have additional controls um, in this, uh, this list of breakdowns and categories, but uh, I think we're going to end here uh, and uh, we'll continue on with that in the next clip.